Good afternoon, everybody. Andrew Steele here. Today, I'm at the Motor Coach Resort, Port St. Lucie West, with my friend Doreen. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our beautiful resort. Today, she's going to show us around the resort and show us everything they have going on here today. has 1,000 square foot coach houses. It's 500 square feet under air conditioned. It's a true 500 on the interior walls. Um, we built out the foundations big enough to allow for 500 inside, not outside measurements. You're allowed 500 outside living space. And if you choose, you can take a 100 square feet out of that and put a storage room on the back or the front side of the house for laundry rooms and whatever. People put their motorcycles in there and golf carts and things like that when they're gone. Um, this allows you to, this outdoor space that we have with the um, shutters and the screens allows you when you do leave for five or six months to take your outdoor furniture, stick it inside, bring your golf cart or whatever you want in, close the screens, close the shutters. When you come back, it took us 10 minutes to take our furniture out. Everything was clean. There's no cleanup when you get back. It's pretty um, convenient. lakefront lot, lot. This is a premium lot with a totally decked out build out here. This is like, this is this is the nicest RV site I have personally ever seen. Can I ask you, as this sits with everything totally decked out, what something like this would cost? Um, when we last looked at it, we were about 500,000. We never know because I mean, there's a few things we keep adding. There's a pergola <laughs> coming that's on order. So, oh, yeah. so gosh knows what <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, plants are, are cheap around here and they definitely did not skimp on the landscaping at all. So, yeah. and so Doreen was just telling me that the lots in, in phase three start at 200,000. And the perimeter wall and 250 around the lake. Yeah, so this is a premium lot for 250. And then the build out is about 200 and kind of, uh, you know. Starting at two, depending, I mean, a, a standard size, a standard house would be about 200 to start. You deck it out like this, you're about 225. I mean, we put nicer appliances and things like that. Um, but you can get in here at 400 and around 500, you got yourself a pretty nice place. And the cool thing about that is all you need is about a $2 million uh, <laughs> coach to, uh, to, to park outside of it. So. Um, now, some folks, what, what are the main purposes that folks use these? Because they have these multi-million dollar buses that they park in front of these. What are the uses for these casitas? Well, most people that do this come to the, here for the winter time because they come from someplace cold. So they have a uh, family that comes to visit, especially at Christmas. You'll see more children at Christmas and Easter. But besides that, it's a fairly, you know, adult community. And they come, some of them put their kids in here. Some live in here and put their kids in there. So it depends on what the purpose is. I have some who have uh, sofas here that pull out and they put in Murphy beds and offices in there so they can accommodate when they have company, but it also affords them a nice lifestyle when they don't. Yeah, absolutely. And I've got to ask too, um, are there any restrictions? I know a lot of RV resorts have age restrictions or uh, coaches like my class A coach is 11 years old. Are there, what, what are the restrictions here? One of the great things about us is that we realize, especially, you know, some of the higher end coaches, they can be 20 years old and the paint jobs are beautiful and they, nobody knows. 
So we have a pride of ownership rule where, you know, if it's older, we may ask for a picture. It's class A only, 25 feet and above is the restriction and pride of ownership. So we don't want, you know, dirt hanging off the yeah. sides or, you know, awnings hanging off. But if it looks good, we love to have you. Very cool. Very cool. And uh, what about age restrictions? I'm a lot younger than most of the RVs out, <laughs> beers out there, but I'm an RVer. Any age restrictions here? No, we're not a 55 plus. You know, we are adult theme, but we're not 55 plus. Very cool. So right now we're in one of the casitas of phase three. Now before this, uh, before phase three came along, there was phase one and phase two. And uh, when I came into the resort, it reminded me a lot of some of the other high-end resorts I've come into. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of phase one and phase two and how long the park has been here and how it got started? Uh, phase one started, I think around 2000 or 2001. I'm not exactly sure on that. That's before I was here. But um, in 2006, they started phase two. That was not a good time to start phase two and open up more lots oh, yeah. because that was a bad real estate time. So we had one and two in different phases. And the, right now, the lots in phase one and two, the least expensive I have and the most budget friendly is an undeveloped lot at $75,000. I have some as high as 199,000 as well. Depending, they'll probably have uh, two tiki's, a kitchen, outdoor kitchen. They're pretty decked out at 199. My average in here is probably in the 140 to 160 range is where I'll probably sell most of them. Okay, so yeah, so phase one and phase two, I saw some awesome outdoor kitchens, uh, but if you want to go with the full-blown casita, you've got to come to phase three here. And I'm going to just keep asking you all the hard questions on behalf of my subscribers. What are the HOA costs if I were to buy a premium lot here? In, in, are there different HOAs in the different phases, or how does that all work? No, the, we always keep everything even. All the phases are open to everybody. The pool in phase three is open to everybody. You, we don't have like it's a phase three pool or whatever. So we try to keep it even so it doesn't matter what side lot you are or your amenities. Right now, it's eight ninety five dollars a quarter. In January, it's going to go up, uh, I think, to 1004 But that was voted on by the people because people, um, the residents used to have uh, cable only and they had to pay for their internet. Now they're going to have cable and internet all included in the HOA. And so we've redone it all and it's now fiber optics. Uh, how many lots are there total in the resort? 401 lots from one and two and then 68, what we call it you know, 2.5 and three. 2.5 is because it can't have a coach house, but we have natural gas in phase three. And there's eight lots that we took with us when we developed three that have natural gas as well. Can you tell me about what are some of the other amenities that folks can expect at the resort? Well, we are a fun filled resort. We have pickleball, shuffleboard, tennis, bocce ball. We have a gym. We have a really active community where we have dances every Friday night from five to seven. We have a social hour that's free beer, wine, and appetizers. Every Monday morning, we have a continental breakfast all provided by the HOA. If you wanna do um, organized events, there we have Monday, Wednesday, Friday is water aerobics, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday is yoga. We have a Monday morning scramble after breakfast where the guys all go, or, or girls too, all go golfing and they have, they have a competition throughout the year. We have Texas Hold'em on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. We have bingo on Monday. If you can think of it, you can do it here. I actually just walked around and saw some of the cool stuff. And is the golf course, it's, a, it's an executive nine hole golf course? Or? 18. 18, so executive 18 hole golf course. Well, we have really big dances and bands. We've had, um, for the last two or three years, we've had the number one Eagles tribute band. In really? The North America Place. Oh, that is too cool. We've that had is... the, the winners of the Battle of the Bands, Van Halen tribute band. They played here for the last two years. This year, I know we're having the Embers, so they're coming from um, Myrtle Beach. They're kind of beach music, and they're pretty big. And we have, uh, for Valentine's Day, we have a really good talent coming, Michael D. Moore. He plays with the Capris. If you look him up on the internet, he does opera and everything. But he's really more like Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Very cool. And um, we have a country night. We have, I mean, our parade for St. Patrick's Day is a hoot because everybody decorates their golf carts and people, some people hand out green shots as you go by and they throw bees. We just have a lot of fun. <laughs> they, they really do. And I, as we were driving around the resort, uh, Doreen was telling me all kinds of fun stories. You were sharing with me um, that there's a local um, uh, craft brewery where you almost have like a golf cart parade. Can you tell us a little more about that? <laughs> so right outside of the gates of the, of the community, there's um, Hop Life. 
and it's a craft brewery that's kind of well known in this area now. So we will go by on a Saturday, you know, whoever decides they want to do it, and yell out, meet at the clubhouse at four o'clock with your golf cart. It's a hop life run. So you'll get 40 golf carts. We all meet, we go all through the back gate, we go through the woods around the back of the community, and it's sort of like Mr. Toad's Wild well Ride. And then we get there and they have, um, we get a beer and they have uh, gourmet food trucks as well. So we have dinner and then we all ride back and we have to call them and say, we're coming because they, they have to get extra bartenders when 40 show up, but it's fun. We're part of Port St. Lucie, but we're called St. Lucie West because we are the new part of St. Port St. Lucie. And with, when the Mets Stadium came and they brought the Mets in for spring training and we could walk to that from here. So we have a lot of fans that come and they stay with us during the spring training time. So they had to bring in every restaurant you can imagine, a lot of chain restaurants, and every um, hotel is within a two mile distance, all the shopping conveniences, everything you want to do. And then within a, a one or two exits, you have tradition where there's another big town in itself. And, and we have about three different beaches we can go to within about 25 minutes drive. And you can go up to Fort Pierce, we're at the inlet and watch the boats come in. You have both um, intercoastal and uh, ocean front. And then we have Jensen Beach and Stewart. And some people go down to Hope Sound to Jupiter Island. But it, there's all nice beaches around too. And, and I have to also point out, uh, Doreen's actually a big fan of Marathon Coach. I really like the Liberty Coach. Uh, Liberty Coach of Florida is actually only about 35, 40 minutes away from here. So anything else, we, we've touched on a lot of cool stuff. Anything uh, um, else you can think of for the YouTube subscribers? Anything, any other cool um, information that you think would be fun to share with everybody? Well, I think that, you know, what they need to know is that there's only a few places in South Florida that you can come to for the winter. And, it, and if you're going to be in South Florida, you've basically got to be below Vero Beach. And that's where you're going to spend most of your winter time. And we're six hours from Key West if you want to go down there for a weekend or something. We, you know, we're a couple of hours from Disney. And we have a lot of people that will go up to Disney and stay, stay there for a week or so. You know, just spend some time with their kids up there. And so we, we're like sort of central to a lot of things here. And that's kind of a great thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Number one place for sailfish. Really? It, yes. The capital of sailfish is here at Stewart, Florida. Oh, very yeah. cool. Very cool. So, well, Doreen, I cannot thank you enough for taking the time to show us the Motor Coach Resort, Port St. Lucie West. Absolutely stunning. Greatly appreciate all of you that are watching. Thanks for dropping by. Come see me and I'll show you around. Hope you're all having a great day. Bye.